Hey guys, I'm going to take a few minutes to quickly explain um, really all about headhunters. What's their purpose? What isn't their purpose? What they're not there to do for you? And how they can really help you. The purpose of a headhunter is not to find you a job. The purpose of the headhunter is to find candidates for their client. So you, the candidate, is n you are not their client. Their client is the person or the company that has them on a retainer to bring in fresh candidates. So when you reach out to a headhunter, they're not specifically there to help you specifically as an individual. Unless they're a close friend or someone in your network, maybe that's a different story. They get paid to find the most suitable candidate for the job, not to squeeze you into a job that you may or may not fit with. The reason for that is typically when they put you into the job, you got to perform to the level of expectations that they have sold as you being a successful candidate because you are a product and they are selling you. Now, if you are not the best candidate for that role and you don't last, say, by three, four, six months, however long it is in their contract, they don't get paid. And a lot of these guys work on commission only. So if they don't get paid, they don't eat. And no one likes that. What they're good for and how they can help you. One, they are going to know a lot of roles that are available that might not even be on uh, a career page or on a job board posting. Because they've got a business relationship, they are the job board posting. And they are there to reach out to candidates that they see and kind of, kind of like a sniper approach. They study things. And they, once they find a, a suitable target, they take aim and they fire. The good thing about that is they will probably have a lot more insight into that role based on conversations that they've had with the hiring manager. So they will be able to tell you more about the role rather than just the, the single paragraph job description. They're going to tell you about why did the previous candidate in that role not work out? What are they looking for, right? What kind of people are you competing against, right? How do you stack up against that competition? What is the person like? So that way you can mirror them when you talk to them. What kind of questions you should be asking? They will help guide you that. They can help uh, brush up your resume, offer some suggestions. And by all means, ask for help with that. Ask for suggestions. How can you tailor it? your resume, your cover letter, to specifically suit that role, that company, that hiring manager. So that way when they look at it, it appears that you've done the research and you're a perfect fit for those people. Headhunters, while they're not there specifically to help you fit a role, but when you find a role that they have available and you're a fit for it, they can help you become an even better fit. Think of it this way. Who is going to sell you for the role when you're not there to sell yourself? Before you've done your, your interview, after you've done your interview, when you just submit your resume, who is going to really pump up that resume full of happy gas? The headhunter can do that for you, provided you're a good fit for the headhunter and there's a mutual benefit going on here. They will only suggest the winners to the roles because they want to get paid. And if you are a winner, you walk and talk like a winner, you act like a winner, chances are they're going to see you as a winner and they will do whatever they can to arm you with the best tools to be that winner. Headhunters, definitely a good option out there. Shouldn't be your only option, but definitely work with a couple. Two that I've worked with that really, really uh, come to mind were, were great experience. One was uh, a gentleman named Louis, a French-Canadian guy, had a bit of an accent. 
but he taught me a lot about uh, the interview process, uh, what he calls tricks. With these tricks, I still use them today on different interview processes, both when I interview candidates to work for me and both when I interview to work for other places. I use those tricks to this day. He has a set of rules that he goes by and I will be talking about those rules later on. But all in all, made and this was for the last place that I worked, made that a very enjoyable and professional hiring experience for me. And most recently, a gentleman that I've uh, paired up with named Dave, uh, another headhunter, and he brought my career to the next level. So this guy um, was able to give me inside information. The previous people that uh, were in the role, why didn't they work out? So I can gauge myself to that and eliminate any negatives and play up any positives that that guy had or maybe didn't have but needed. So I can really hone in on what makes me a successful candidate. He gave me specific questions that I should ask and questions and things that I shouldn't ask or shouldn't talk about. And it's that deep level of insight which allowed me to get a healthy raise in salary, get a raise in title, and really grow myself uh, and grow my career to the next level. So I've worked with other headhunters which did not really rub me off on the, the right way. But these two in particular, great candidates. So when you are working with a headhunter, just feel them out and uh, see how proactive they are about the approach. And if they're not very proactive, either they are not very good at the job, or B, you are not very suited for that job that they're offering. One of those two things. Guys, if you have any questions, by all means, uh, leave a comment, send me an email, send me a message, rather. And uh, thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video.